so today kind of feels like a blade bait type of day um it's like 27 or 28 degrees this morning when i got out here um definitely in the middle of a cold front i'm thinking that most of these fish um at least where i'm at are transitioning to the deeper hole so that's what we're going to try we're going to try jigging this little blade bait um off deep holes which it's going to be a little bit harder than i uh, was anticipating if you can see my lorance having a little malfunction so today we're fishing blind fortunately i have a decent idea of where i should be fishing um but it's gonna be anybody's guess with no you know depth finder all right so all we're gonna be doing dropping the blade bait down get it pretty much to the bottom and then probably gonna pull it maybe half a foot from uh, the bottom and just pretty much just jig it from there oh there's a fish on the blade bait either a striper or a perch is my guess oh it came off son of a gun that was a nice fish try that again there we go oh yeah what did we just hook striper i guess has to be has to be a striper if this is a perch man it'd be freaking mondo although it's fighting weird man most stripers don't fight like this could be because he could be foul hooked it is a striper i just saw him It's actually not a bad size one either. What worries me, man, with these blade baits is the snap on them is very, very temperamental, man. Lost a very nice trigger fish, man, back in July on one of these. Because they're, you know, they're designed for uh, fresh water, not salt water. So I can't really horse this guy. Go figure too, it's on my smallest rod I packed. Everything else is like legit striper gear. Oh, man. Man. Oh. It's the only bad thing with light tackle is I can't really horse this guy to type my drag a tad bit i'm definitely gonna have to net this guy because uh that's what i learned with that trigger fish man it wasn't a huge one might have been like 18 inches the trigger but i tried to horse him into the kayak and ended up bending the snap swivel right off man it's weird he he's got to be foul hooked or something because definitely fighting so much differently than, you know, most other stripers I get. gonna be a miracle if we get this guy up Man. I'm just trying to keep him as far away from my pedal drive oh there he is that's actually a nice bass on a freaking blade beat Look at this guy. Actually, might be a keeper. Let's get him up. Oh, 
Oh, man, he's not going. He ain't going easy today. That's what you gotta admire about these fish, man. They just they find like a third and fourth and fifth level to just run. Alright, I think he's look at that man, that's a freaking that's actually not a bad sized bass, man. Look at him. Alright, let's uh oh man. Get this guy out. Man, oh that is a freaking stud strike bass, man. I don't even want to get a measurement to be honest with you just because we ain't keeping them. Definitely would be a keeper. But I thought I had. Siri, why are you talking to me? There we go. Let's get this freaking Mondo back in the water. Yeah, he's ready to go, man. Man, what a beautiful fish. I think he's ready. Yep, there he goes. Man, that was a freaking awesome fish. Just moseying away. Now one thing I do notice, I always try and keep an eye out, um, is if any of the hooks were bent at any point because Grant, I'm fishing, you know, Cabela's Mean Eye Blade Bait, which is, I don't think designed for what we're using it for. I think they're more designed for, you know, bass and other freshwater species, but um, the stripers seem to like them, so. You know, I just keep an eye. Every time, if you're using one of these for something bigger, keep an eye on the hooks because they do bend pretty easily. Um, what I want to try eventually this winter, when, when I have time, is switching the trebles for single, you know, single hooks like I you have on most of my other lures. But we're going to try this one for now. It seems to be working. And, I mean, the fact that we were able to get that first fish in with that size uh, hook is kind of amazing, to be honest with you. I must have just dropped that one right on that one, that last fish's head, because. I, you know, if, if our uh, depth finder was currently working, what I would be looking for, not necessarily fish, but for uh, differences in depth, you know, and working the edges of the hole. But, you know, today we're just going to kind of have to guess where we're going. All right, so I'm going to try right where we had that nice striper if we don't seem to be having much more luck we might just move on to fishing uh, shallows because this type of fishing is very very difficult if you have no idea how deep you're fishing which I, I kind of oh, there's fish I kind of have an idea of how deep we're fishing but um, I don't know, man. It's it's one of those things. I mean, if we're catching fish, we ain't leaving. But uh, it could be very difficult because I'm, you know, on the edge of a little deep hole, and if you're two feet to the left or two feet to the right, you're missing out on the fish. But it seems like we found something. Another striper is my guess. Because this one's got a little size to him. Maybe not as big as that first one. Man, but I can't even, he's just trying to pull me down right now. Not much I can really do. And he's in the current. I know as soon as I get him up, he's gonna run right back down, especially when he sees the kayak. Man. 
And see, I, I, you'd think I would have learned my lesson from that first fish on the small rod, but the blade bait we're using is so light that if I put it on, you know, my Fenwick or one of my red bones, the action when I'm jigging it isn't the same. So I guess we just got to roll with the punches, man, and just keep fighting with the little stick. Oh, there he is. Man. We found some decent sized fish so far today. I think they're all schooled up because of the cold front. Oh, there we go. Should pull that rod out of my way. Let's do that. Put that right there. Yeah, definitely not as big as the first one, but man, uh, and see, that's why I felt so big. Look at that, hooked on the top of the head. Ah, oh, man, that's a, that's a healthy looking bass. Pretty cool on the blade bait. Who would have thought that would have been the bait of choice today? I have, you know, some swim baits with me and they've yet to be touched. I'm actually gonna put that rod away for a minute just because we run to another nice fish i don't want to be trying to organize the kayak all right literally just pitched this out i was going to dead stick it ended up hooking into something i think it's a striper literally pitched it out was gonna just let it kind of float behind the kayak and literally I closed the bail went to grab the other rod and this was keeled over sometimes they say what is the saying better to have bad luck than no luck at all that's some crazy good luck honest to God That ain't a bad bass. Every every fish though, after that first one's gonna feel like a a baby. Let me just set that down for a sec. That ain't a bad one. I don't know, probably like 25, 26 inch. -er. Alright, let's uh get this guy. Whoa, easy buddy, easy. Yeah, he just engulf that swim bait man there are some healthy looking fish oh man I deserve that one 